doggy right that's now, Ebo's, bro. That's Epo's weak point. Oh, Damn! Oh, Set oh, him down! Oh, no. Set him down! <laughs>
My thing is, with all the punches that he's throwing, there's no openings for you to make a hit. Maybe he's it's waiting for that. Uh, you know how, like, when you wait for your the breath to go out or whatever? Like, the... the, the they gazelle. did it earlier. They yeah. did it last episode when he was like, yo, boom, 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 boom. Like, he was like, basically, like, you got to wait at a, a certain moment when he tires out. Exactly. Like, in fighters, they usually go in, punch, 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 punch. And when they're out of breath, that's when you strike. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, there's no way. My boy's too nice. Wow. Yeah, the fact they looked in his eyes and said, yup, he got a concussion. Wow. So, he's wow. clearly going to keep fighting. So, what do you guys think about that? Psych! <laughs> I lied! Oh! I lied! You thought I got a concussion? It's called a pump fake! Is that subconscious, though? Is no, he blacked he's out? Black, yeah. That's that ultra willpower. That's that nah, we don't Ebo give up. Lost, we don't bro. stop. This might be bad. Ebo might have lost, bro. Because he's blacked out right now. <laughs> That's crazy, yo. <laughs> That's that ultra willpower. That Let's is, go. That's, oh, definitely some ultra oh. willpower. Oh. You better hope he falls. That's muscle memory. Now, the wild shit is. is, he couldn't fight him consciously, but unconsciously, nah, I'll fight your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yo, just wait. That's wait till wild. I go unconsciously. Yeah, it is a Netsu right That's, here. I was just about to say, I'm like, That's some real Zenetsu <laughs> shit right there. <laughs> I'm trying to knock him the fuck out. He's, I don't think you want that because you did put him to sleep low key. Yeah, nah, he did. <laughs> and that's when he started making his move. But they just throwing jabs. Ooh, 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 ooh. Weave, 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 make. Oh my oh, gosh. Ah, uh, now nah, this is the kind of fight I, I like to see. Yeah. It was just the beginning. I'm, I'm all right. I guess he was saying that it was more intimidation that got him like that in the beginning. Yeah. Oh, he caught him. Okay. Yeah, you ain't catch me like homie after the bell. I'm right here. Woo, this might be Epo's round right here, yo. Bro, them uppercuts are. Yeah, he he Dirty, fucking he bro up right now, bro. Uh, oh my gosh! Ooh, Mick, oh, Mick, oh, Mick, shit. Mick, Let's Mick, go. Mick, 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 that ultra punch. You ain't that will no punch, ribs. boy. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh! Jake Paul, him. Logan Paul, his ass. Oh, oh my, my gosh! Gosh. Damn. Combination. Hmm. Hmm. That's what the Epo definitely has. Endurance. Oh. Rip cage. Do the, oh. do the gazelle. Oh. You. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That was it. Oh, oh damn. Wow. Dropped down. it to a knee like he proposed to him. That's funny as hell, since you haven't done your homework. <laughs> I think it's the first time he ever was faced with that dilemma. That's why he keeps saying, damn, I wish I had met this dude under different circumstances. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. I love how Epo is breaking it down, too. He's doing this. That means this. See, he's not going into a stupid. He's attacking with a plan. Oh, yo, you can't do it again, bro. He's about to get rocked. He's about to get Sit rocked. Down. Oh, Sit down. Sit down, Epo. Oh. 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 Okay. Counter. Looked him in his eye like. Oh, now nah, he felt it through the block, though. <laughs> the, <laughs> the hunt of the wolf. And packs of punches. Ooh, I like this analogy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Damn. Oh my gosh. Here it comes. Hit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's one, two. Then another one coming from the bottom from the top. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. There it is. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh damn. Oh, oh, set him down. Hell no. Set him down. <laughs> oh my god. That was like Me a Will Smith shit right there. Get up. 
Get up, people. That look like Cuba Gooding yeah, punching Cuba. the air. That's, that's, that's what I was thinking. Get up. <laughs> Get up. Get up. Will Come on, Ipo. Will power. Will power. Oh, no. he's dying. Oh, oh no. Bro, in real life, Epo is done, bro. Ultra willpower. <sighs> you good? And he got up. That's all that counts. That's the bell. That's a good thing that he did that. That always happens with Epo, though. When he's on the verge of getting knocked out, he gets saved by the bell, bro. Because realistically, ultra if he went any more in the rest of that fight, he got hit again, he's done. <laughs> <laughs> that punch is hilarious, bro. <laughs> Damn. Bro, Damn. Said, oh, shit, and come the for you. He said he's dead in his willpower, you, bro. Nah, I'm not even gonna respect that. Yeah, he directly came at you. He said, he funny. said, willpower who? <laughs> I'm not even gonna respect that. Now, what you gotta do is anticipate that attack. Yeah. You gotta know when he's gonna bite. Watch the episode end. Come on, Jerry. Yeah, you know that. Better. Wow. Ba, 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 <sighs> that episode was fire. Yeah. One of the best. Yeah. This fight is definitely one of the Epo's best right here. It's, it's been even one knockdown, one knockdown. Even the first round, even though I give it to Vogue, um, second half, Epo did. He, he, he fought back. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He didn't just get his ass with first round and had to adapt. He adapted right in the same round. So you can see that Epo's boxing abilities is getting way better. And even his smarts in the ring. Yeah. Like, it ain't just about his physical ability. He's starting to understand how fighters fight now. You know what I'm saying? That's how he's able to adapt and use his abilities to counter that. One of the best things about this episode, I feel like we was into, like, multiple people multiple people's minds about how they should go about this fight because you have both epo and you have vogue that's talking about how they want to approach the fight but my thing is what you were saying earlier about like the metaphor of like the animal in the wild and stuff like that and how they're attacking but how it relates to boxing and stuff like i love animal planet growing up and stuff so it's like i just felt like i was watching animal planet but in the in the ring right there that was real <laughs> Okay, so like it was two animals fighting in the wild. Gazelle oh, versus Hannah. the wolf. The, the gazelle versus the wolf. I feel it. The one thing I will say about Epo, yes, this is a very great fight, but like you have to understand, Epo, you've been boxing way too long to be doing the same move twice against an amateur world champion and expect to him expect for him not to catch on the second time around. Like, he went into the attack. I think he got so excited from the first punch that he thought he was just like, maybe I should just hit him with a barrage. And that's where he got caught lacking. Remember what you got taught. You got to get him tired. That time, you wasn't getting him tired. That time, you were tying yourself out, and you were throwing a, punch of, a, a bunch of punches that weren't even... Like a couple of them were landing, but it left you it left you open and left you vulnerable. And then you were over here doing the Cuban good and junior punch at the end where you was over here something. We thought that you lost. I thought that you lost. To and Epo's I defense, I really feel like he did that because he just knocked them out. And like the, the trainer of uh, Vogue's trainer said, he was like, yo, they understand that it, yo, they have to take each other. Like if I don't take you out, I'm gonna get knocked out. So right now, now that you're vulnerable, I just knocked you out. This is makes sense why Epo would be like, okay, now I got to give him my all because mm. he's recovering. So if I can knock him out now, then I can win this fight. I got to you know? finish. Yeah. Exactly. It's funny because I was just listening to Joe Goldberg. I said Joe Goldberg. <laughs> Joe Rogan talk about how like... <laughs> <laughs> he was talking about Joe Goldberg earlier. <laughs> like, this dude, this dude was talking about how like one of the biggest um, downfalls with certain um, UFC fighters and like ones that's been like vetted and been through the game is like the desperation of knocking a person out mm -hmm. after they knock them down. Yeah. It's that people like, even like to the degree of like Anderson Silva in his prime had moments that like he felt susceptible of like, yo, I gotta knock him out right now mm -hmm. because a dude looks like he's on his last whim. Yep. But I, the best comebacks I've seen were people that acted off of desperation mm -hmm. and then the other person was able to take advantage of the momentum mm -hmm. of the person just swinging. And I feel like when you do that, you're not even thinking straight. You're not even thinking strategically. And like I said, it leaves you vulnerable for attack and it leaves you vulnerable to get knocked out. Ebo got really, really lucky in that match. 
he got really, <laughs> really lucky because if there was if that match went for any more seconds after he got knocked down, it, it would have been just no Epo. The show would have just been called No Epo. Yeah, and then his boxing career would have been over <laughs> at that point. So got really, really lucky. Shout out to Epo, man, because at the end of the day, bro, the type of like. The type of willpower, man. Shout out to Rob. The type of willpower that man got to keep getting up, bro. I'd be done. I'd be done, bro. You knock me out like that. I got a concussion. I can't. I got to. <laughs> like, I'm wobbling my legs. At the end of the day, the referee should have been stopped that fight. If the referee got to look back at you and say, dang. Because that's literally what his face said. He looked back at him like Kevin Hart looked at Don Cheeto when he said his age. Like, he's just, dang. Like, yo, this, this little man got back up. Shit, that man's wild right now. Hart looking at Don Cheeto, but he said his age. And like age. Ipo came out there and he's still fighting, but damn, like both of these fighters got like deadly, deadly punches. Like this dude really basically said, "I want to end his boxing career. I need to sever his consciousness and his willpower." I don't know what that means, but it sounds very destructive. So at this point, man, <laughs> Ipo got to defend his life and try to win this match because yo, it's the White Fang versus the Gazelle who will win. Mm. It's Gazelda. You got anything for us, Mr. Willpower? You think your boy's going to pull through? Yo, I just know when you guys all didn't believe in him, I did. <laughs> I said, get up. I said, you got it. You guys literally thought it was over, the I seconds did. and everything. I definitely did. And that shows why he, me and him have that willpower connection because when no one believes, we still believe because you got to believe in yourself. It doesn't matter if no one else believes. You believe that you could get up. You believe in those seconds. It don't matter if it's eight seconds left one second left, t eight seconds left, two seconds <laughs> left. You almost said 10 seconds, 10 seconds to left is done. Two, two, two seconds left, you, you still got a chance to get it right. So oh, get did? up. If you, if you first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. Oh, wow. That's the first time I heard yeah, that one. He even, even hit the, like, the Aaliyah vocals when he said it too. Oh, that was Aaliyah? Nah, nah, nah. nah, 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 nah that was Rob. Don't do that. Like, like, he, hit the, he, he had the subtle vocals, but it was just like the raw oh. version of the Aaliyah oh, vocals. It was the Barry you know White version. Like, it was like, oh. pick yourself up and try. Oh. You know what I mean, I'm that's saying? how he feels. Like, huh? yeah, that's, that's how he feels. Yeah, how hey, feel, that's how bro. he feels, but it definitely ain't the facts. <laughs> that's, how, that's what he's trying to tell you. <laughs> Y'all wrote really, guys. Is my, is my opinion on whether I thought Rob had the Aaliyah vocals or not, guys. Right, yo. You know, know what I'm going saying? Off of Evan's logic, bro, is facts yeah. that Rob has some Aaliyah vocals, <laughs> yo, bro. Facts, yeah. That didn't make any sense. That, what you yeah, mean? That, actually, that, that's exactly <laughs> what you said. Yo, <laughs> honestly, bro, y'all both dumb as hell, man. Can't tell fact. Well, fact is he got up. That you can't fact. argue that. That's a fact. Now that's a goddamn fact. It's not how you feel. That's exactly. <laughs> it, it is how I feel, and it's a fact. No, nah, that's not how you feel. I feel you up, and it's a fact. <laughs> nah, Joe. Nah, that's not how Joel feels. Joe, so I thought I had to go lost. <laughs> Oh damn! It's <laughs> <laughs> another dollar. <laughs> I got my ones. Another dollar bill, y'all. All right, guys. Well, we'll continue damn. the rest of this fight on the next episode, man. Keep it locked right here on RTTV. We was almost finished. <laughs> <laughs> what? We was almost done with the reaction. That's all I'm laughing. He oh, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was almost a flawless one. I know, bro. I know. <laughs> If it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash that subscribe button. It's your boy, Wells, the Anime King. Patrick R.T. It's a man, the myth, the maniac, Wilkins underscore R.T. It's your boy, D.C. It's your boy, Rob City R.T. And that settles it at the, the Round Table. table.